بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما The next thing we'll try to understand uh, if you're using lightweight access point how it is going to bind itself with the uh, WLC. So we'll try to see the process at the back end how it works. So whenever you power on the lightweight access point let's say these are the access points here. Now these access points whenever you power on and when it when it start booting probably it will start the discovery process. So it will use some kind of discovery mechanisms in the back end. to search and connect to the wlc so so basically we call this as discovery process now once it discovers it is going to bind itself with the wlc now this wlc and the access point are going to bind and build something called cap wrap tunnels and these tunnels are used to encapsulate and forward the forward the traffic so we'll talk about more on the cap wrap tunnels probably in the next video so once this uh access points are going to be connected now this wlc will be acting as a centralized hub for all the access points and each access point is going to uh build the tunnels uh, with a with a centralized wlc and technically you may have hundreds of access points they all are uh, connected centrally to the to the wlc so let's try to see the process so the entire discovery process goes in our discovery and the registration process goes in four steps like in the first step we call it as discovery request now this is something done by the access point now this access point is going to start the discovery process so it's going to send out some discovery request messages and probably the access point is going to send out the request messages to the wlc saying that okay uh for first it is going to uh, trying to discover the wlc that's what it is going to do now one or more wlcs you may have in your network now that wlc is going to uh, receive that particular message the discovery request message from the access point and this is going to respond with that so that's the next option the second one which is the discovery response which is being sent by the wlc back to the access point So probably in the first two steps is like the discovery process where the access point is sending out the discovery request messages, which again the WLC is going to respond to that the, the discovery messages. Now probably in the third step, the access point again it is going to send out a join request messages, where it says, "Okay, I'm ready to join to this particular WLC." So the access point is sending a join request to the WLC. and then the wlc is going to respond back with a join response now in the join response again the wlc is going to validate the access point again there are some kind of authentication at the back end and it's going to send uh, back a join response to the access point saying that okay i'm i'm going to confirm that you are going to be connected so again the validation is done on both uh, done on both the sides so the access point and the wlc they do validation on both the sides so they do have authentication process in the back end and for that authentication process they do have pre installed certificates now these pre installed certificates are something present by default when you purchase the devices and these uh, pre installed uh, certificates basically they will decide what is the encryption key they are going to use for uh, basically they are they are going to derive the keys which are required for authentication and encryption okay so so this these keys are actually used again ensuring that the messages exchanged between the access point and the wlc are encrypted and it also prevent the any unauthorized access points to to be connected to your network so so basically before the access point joins so there will be an authentication the mutual authentication process between them and it is done with the help of this certificate which are pre installed as i said the major benefit to prevent any unauthorized access points joining the network as well as ensuring that the communication process or uh, whatever the messages exchanged between the access point and the wlc are encrypted